I'm going to show you our rotten old window here. Can you zoom in on this then? This basically got water coming in this joint here. It soaked all the way down here, rotted this wood nicely. Yesterday I picked out the worst of it back to kind of almost solid wood there. Then overnight it's been treated with a, a wood preservative, which says leave for 24 hours or so. So another couple of hours for that to hit 24, then we'll go into the next part of the project, which is to add some hardener to this, which apparently sets in 10, 20 minutes, and then put it a load of proper wood filler over there. So we're taking a picture before and after to see how it comes out. Be interesting, wouldn't it? Otherwise one of these bay windows, it's hard to get a price off anyone without committing yourself to a visit, but we reckon in the order of a thousand pounds plus to change the bay windows. So for the sake of 20 pounds worth of uh, preservatives and fillers from the local DIY store, may as well give it a go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. One, two hours later, come back lovely and dry now, sun's just setting. Got this wet rot hardener. I said earlier that it takes 10 to 20 minutes. I was wrong, it says on the tin two hours. So once this is on, that's it for today. We'll do another shot tomorrow with the, uh, the filling, which is the exciting bit, I reckon. So we're gonna apply this hardener. A little bit in here. Mm, pretty nasty smelling stuff. And we just dab it in. Right there, and this should set rock hard, making a good base for some priming. There we go. You notice the wood behind the frontage wood is absolutely um, brilliant condition there. It's just the front bits have gone. Amazing what a bit of water can do. Let's put it in that gap as well. Right, so this is a few days later. Unfortunately I was called away for three days. Bit of a disjointed project this. I'm now going to get the old sanding machine. Sand all the paint down around it before I go any further. Right, on to the next phase. I've made this template here with this little uh, raised up bit which is the same kind of dimension as the, the drip guard underneath here. What we're going to do, we're going to put that in place but to stop the, uh, the filler sticking, a bit of cooking oil. I'm going to squirt it on like this. Got to be fairly accurate with this of this thing, here we go, look at that, beautiful. Fits there nicely, we get one of these clamps. And we'll get another clamp in a minute and clamp it up there and we're ready to start filling in. Right, what we've added here to the hole, the gap here, is these screws, because it's a uh, larger than an inch thick, they recommend to put these screws in, uh, non-rusting screws, in order that the filler has something to key onto. There we go. Just going to mix up the filler. Filler's next. Okay, now it's time to mix up the uh, filler. Following the instructions on the can, we need a, about a golf ball size of this. It's a golf ball for cash, isn't it? With 38 millimetres, a bit precise, a bit of catalyst. We have to mix them nicely together. I'm using an old bit of cardboard, it says use the lid, but cardboard's probably just as well as any 
up the spine of the pillar. So to fill in all the gaps, push it right in, um, little by little, until it builds up to sufficient. And here we are, is the, uh, the finished job. Doesn't look so shabby. Let's save the whole window frame basically. <laughs>